Hey, how you doing? The Writer's Life Friday evening. The warmer weather is back. I have made a big decision today. No more microwaving green beans, you know, for the sake of saving six or seven minutes. Not going to do that again. Uh, too just attritional mastication, even though I'm here on my own. It's, it's, it's the way I hold the phone. It's already, I can see the tremor. This is not the early manifestation of Parkinson's. It, it's the way I'm holding the phone. So let me just switch the, uh, let me just switch that there. Hopefully that'll hold steady for another couple of minutes. Then I might have to switch my grip again. Yeah, no more microwaving uh, green beans. It's, uh, I did it twice in the last week and I'm thinking, what am I doing here? Well, you know, it's, you cannot chew them no matter what it says on the packet. It says you can microwave green beans for two minutes with a couple of tablespoons of water. Just let, it's like eating rubber. And really loud as well can't be great uh, for the jaw so uh, that's a big decision uh, today warmer weather is here Mickey Boyd was outside I did manage to uh, get him out uh, for a coffee his arrival in his cab coincided with uh, my one of my downstairs neighbors uh, mowing their lawn and I thought oh this is bad timing um, you know I'm going to need a bit of small talk to exit the building, but also she's going to see, she's going to see me getting into a cab, a black cab. She's going to think, oh, this guy's flamboyant. Is this the only guy in London not getting an Uber? So uh, made some small talk as I saw her. She kept the lawnmower on. She said, hello. I said, hello. And I think she carried on looking at me. So I felt compelled to follow the hello up. And my mouth was moving, but there was no audio. And I was like some... 1980s top of the pops act you know Morton Harkett aha great singer live actually surprisingly good but terrible at miming I was like that my mouth was moving but there was nothing coming out and I'm hoping that she just thought she couldn't hear what I was saying because she had the lawnmower on that's uh, I'm hopeful that that is the case good to see Mickey told him again about uh, the issues on the uh, jogging front with dogs and uh, he's having the same issue apparently you know it's obviously a, a widespread thing and he told me that when he gets a dog coming after him he just stops and puts his hand up like that in applicatory fashion I've not been putting the hands up but I have been stopping uh, it tends to be the little dogs that are really giving me uh, trouble so I guess I'm just going to have to try and adjust to that and get better at dealing with it so, met Mickey on the back of the awkward uh, neighbour encounter. Big step, mixing again with my own generation. I haven't seen any friends for, you know, probably about two and a half months. It's been a seriously quiet summer. I've been mixing with, uh, you know, the 80-something. So to drop down a couple of decades, uh, sorry, uh, a couple of decades, what am I talking about? A couple of generations to drop down a couple of generations. It's, it's not easy, but, you know, I've known Mickey since I was a boy, so it was just kind of seamless, just, you know, it's Mickey. It's, you know, you can talk to Mickey. That guy can talk to anyone. Uh, we went for a coffee. Ah, shoulder's starting to ache now. Uh, he ordered himself a custard tart, as much as I fancied one. I don't like eating those in public. Um, I remember a couple of years ago, I had one in the cafe with Mickey, and as he said, it really pushes the pastry, the type of pastry, just pushes you into these uh, awful gurns, the likes of which you do not expect to be pulling for, you know, for another 30, 40 years. South London. This reminds me of doing the podcast or even the radio show at Resonance. Always a police car. Always a police car. Can't remember the last time I did one of these without the uh, police siren. Let's get back to what I was talking about. The custard tarts. You ordered it. Um... In Portuguese, which I was um, impressed by, took a photo of that, which is on the Instagram uh, feed. I'm trying to think what else. Yeah, I saw Mickey's attention was taken by this uh, amputee, a guy coming into the cafe. This guy has been a long standing regular, although he did disappear for some years, but uh, always been a very fashionable guy. He's been going there for as long as I have. Maybe about the same age as me, I'm not sure. He was the guy, I kid you not around 2009 when I saw him make the switch from boot cut jeans to slim fit jeans I thought if this guy's doing it then something's definitely happening in the world of denim I need to make the switch 
too. So so I did. And um, today I think he was wearing some very faded jeans, kind of a bit late 80s. I thought, I'm not going back to that look. You know, I'll stick with the slim fit jeans, you know. I don't know how long we can get away with wearing jeans for nowadays. It just seems the elderly seem to wear them as well, which uh, was never the case when I was a kid. So uh, maybe it's not something I need to worry about anymore. I found my jeans. Stick with that size. Hopefully... Um, my size isn't going to change. Keep going. Uh, so, yeah, we talked about, uh, you know, the running. We talked about the dog situation. I, I completely forgotten it was a bank holiday. In fact, I don't think I even knew because it falls a bit early this year, doesn't it? What is it today? The 23rd. So it's the 26th of August. That's fairly early for the last bank holiday of the year. I'm not a big bank holiday guy. It's another... Another day when you're not meant to work. I need my routine, you know. I need to be working. As I've gotten older, I realise that I need to, you know, take it easy at the weekend, similarly with uh, bank holidays. So I'll see. I haven't got much of my own stuff done today. But, um, yeah, it's the last bank holiday of the year, I think, isn't it? Well, well, certainly of the summer. I'd like to see a couple of bank holidays in the winter. I think that would be really interesting because although our winters aren't as long and cold as they used to be, uh, I remember, and I base this opinion on a brilliant break I had in 2002 when I went to Barcelona around October 2002. And by the time I came back some weeks later, I felt recharged. And um, I've never come back from a holiday feeling like that. And I just thought, this is, you know, it's better than a summer holiday to take a winter break, to come back to the kind of winters certainly that we used to have here. That was uh, that was really interesting for me uh, to discover that. Uh, Mickey had uh, he had a good beard. Took a, you'll see that picture with the uh, the custard tart. He's got a good beard, using a trimmer to keep it at a certain length, which he says aids a certain act, which uh, fell from grace some years ago when Michael Douglas erroneously posited it as the reasons for his throat cancer, drawing in his wife, Catherine Zeta-Jones, into uh, the public attention. Um, very unfairly on her, I think. And as he admitted some years later, incorrectly too, but I think a lot of guys stop performing this particular act because of what Michael uh, Douglas had said. And uh, except for Mickey Boyd and the kid, I think they're both, uh, it's something they both enjoy doing. Uh, and I'm assuming that the beard length that uh, Mickey says really aids this particular act. It must be kind of friction related, I'm assuming, but he says he kind of just keeps it at that length. A bit longer than this. So uh, he's enjoying himself. What can you say? He's enjoying himself. Um, as we all should be trying to, you know. Maybe I could take that as an example. Maybe I can, you know, what he's doing, not necessarily specifically that act, but the way he's kind of turned his life around, his health around. Maybe, you know, I can take inspiration uh, from that. He dropped me off at the library afterwards. I uh, went to pick up a book, uh, YouTube channels for dummies. Hopefully uh, we can increase the subscription here to more than 63 subscribers, which is an absolute disgrace and does bring back memories of the podcast years. Um... Victoria Library by Victoria Coach Station, one of my favourite libraries, uh, reference library, lots of old books in there, lots of old papers, it, you know, and like a lot of these uh, reference libraries, you know, it's, it does smell in there, but uh, it is one of my favourite libraries. After that, I had some shopping to do, went to Sainsbury's, went to uh, Liddles again, and uh, in Liddles there was a woman just ahead of me, maybe a bit older than me, and she had a shopping trolley with her, and it uh, brought to mind a conversation yesterday with my aunt, who was telling me that, uh, you know, she's saying you really ought to consider getting a shopping trolley. As I say, that's that's not the way I'm closing out my life. Now, I know that, um, you know, it would be helpful, but I, I just, I maintain it's a terrible look for a guy. Uh, my uncle disputed this. I just don't think it's a good look for a guy, but obviously I'm going to reach a point uh some point in the future where I cannot be on an upper deck with four bags of heavy shopping and you know every guy at some point has to accept that their upper deck days are over they have to come down to the lower deck the lower decks tend to be 
full of uh, elderly women. How difficult is it going to be to get a seat with all my bags? It's um, I see no alternative except for online shopping in those final years. You know, if I uh, manage to uh, get some uh, sheltered accommodation, hopefully the Wi-Fi is strong there. Just get the shopping delivered there. I'm not doing the shopping trolley. Seriously, I'm not doing the um, shopping trolley. So, uh, you know, reasonably positive uh, day. Good to, good to get out, I suppose. You know, good to get out, good to see Mickey, good to have coffee. Toasted ciabatta was glorious, good butter coverage. You know, I would have liked a bit more butter on mine, but it was, it was decent. And uh, still waiting for some rain so I can clean my uh, affected trainer. But, um, you know... I can hopefully uh, build on today and have a more productive day, maybe uh, tomorrow. Maybe I can try and uh, do some work. Enjoy your evening.